<laughs> Nigga, that's the I, funniest shit ever, yo. Why I get he <laughs> broke his leg, but the question I have <laughs> yeah. why are we shooting? Yeah, <laughs> nigga, that was the running joke. Oh, no. <laughs> if there's anything. Hey, hey, Clint, you know, this is great and all, man. I understand you, but um, yo, why aren't we shooting? I said, you right. <laughs> like, yo, this meal, this meal is excellent. Yo, home gonna yeah. put my foot in this, but I really gotta know why aren't we shooting? Are we shooting? <laughs> <laughs> yo, no, we had the AD of a lifetime. Yo, this guy, yo, I, I, if I like when you got money, that's who you hire. Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker. He he know he know what he doing. Yeah, it was a lot of moments on that show. It was a lot of moments on shooting that pilot, man. Like just even some real moments, like. Most people did like we saw Nipsey's son before everybody. Like nobody really yeah, got to was, see Cross like that, and it was just like he was at, at the house, just at Clint's house. He was at the house. Him, nigga, DMC came by the house. Yeah, that shit was hilarious. I was like, what? Why? He, what? Uh, whatever. All right. <laughs> it was cool seeing him again. He was tripping because he was like, because me and like I said, me and him met in Houston, so we like talk about comic books and shit. He was like, the hell are you doing here? I'm like. No, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm working, nigga. Yeah, I'm like, I'm at work. And then I heard, why are we shooting? Oh, gotta go lay this tape. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> got to go lay this tape. Why aren't we shooting? We got Vivica on set. We got, we got, we got to get the tape laid. Man, she, she came through so clutch. She, she, a lot of people don't give her credit for uh, her acting abilities either. Hey, my favorite thing about uh, when she came through, she was just cracking she, 50 cent jokes the whole time. She and really was, was, though. Yeah. She was trying to rewrite the script to add in 50, uh, 50 diss yep. jokes. And she still does. She ain't stopped that shit yet. And I ain't mad at her. I'm like, you basically mm -hmm. the female 50. Yeah, right. <laughs> she petty as shit. Yeah. Like, you just, you, I get it. Go for it. Fuck it. Get your shine. But, um, but yeah, so. The way this show is is pretty simple and stuff like that. I'm just gonna present some movies to y'all. If you've seen it, we'll just reminisce over it—the good, the bad, the ugly of it, uh, some of the things we like, holes, plot holes, whatever. But if you haven't, I'm gonna pitch the movie to you, and based off of my pitch, you have to decide whether or not you're gonna uh, watch it or you're gonna say, "I have no intentions of watching this after you explain it." The caveat about this is I'm going to explain this terribly. I am going to intentionally fuck this up, but it may still convince you otherwise. So, um, I have a few selections. We're going to see how it goes with my selections and we will go ahead and get started. Do, is there any questions before we get started? No. All right. Hold on. Let me just run and get my water. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Do anybody need water, snacks? Fruit nah. roll ups, gush. I'm, I'm good for the first one. <laughs> right, she's like, I oh, know, I said that my first cargo. Me, me and Roxy. Oh, snacks. I was like, I'm gonna get some Skittles. Bro, took off. <laughs> we were recording early. I was like, anybody need some? Do y'all need to grab some snacks or something? Didn't hesitate. Both women ran. I was off. like, oh, snacks. <laughs> like we was on set. <laughs> like that's what it felt like. <laughs> like, well, now we just sitting here, <laughs> and we're waiting. Now we play the waiting game. They was like, but but they came back pretty fast. They had their snacks on hand. Yeah, my kitchen's like right there. <laughs> now when I get my house, uh -oh. might might be different. <laughs> right? Like, I gotta go downstairs. My office gonna be upstairs on one side. Kitchen gonna be downstairs on the other side. Be like, I'll be back in like ten minutes. <laughs> we go back in the main house. My 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 mole. Right. <laughs> the streaming equipment inside. I'm gonna keep a mini fridge in my office though. So Speak real quick, be ready. yo. Well, I know you you love Houston. Them motherfuckers don't give a shit about COVID down there. <laughs> nah, That's like the whole state. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, but he, like Houston for real, for real. I, Nick, motherfuckers was at the Galleria with no mask on, like it was, like it's like it like it was like it's last year. Nick, bro, they my my homeboy work at the Galleria. He told me they had three entrances where you had to come in, and they could not figure out where the rest of these people was coming from. They was like, when they opened, they was like, how the fuck they get to the escalators? Like, it's it's only these entrances. Like, no one cared. Like, when they said they were done with it, they were done with it. So much, 
there's a tropical storm like hurricane headed that way right now, right now. yeah right now yeah yeah like my parents had to leave they still they in austin right now because it's not gonna go that way and they still in texas care. and louisiana right yeah and it's gonna come to houston then bounce back and then go to uh louisiana again but i'm just like they do not like it, it's over like they just back to regular life they was like hey, man you catch it man put some vicks on and drink some sprite you'll be all right <laughs> And they go back to their shit. I'm like, wow, bro. But that's how everybody getting. Mm-hmm. The yeah. less they talking about it, and the less they really like saying anything, it's just kind of like, oh man, if you get it, it's, you, it's the new thing to deal with. Mm-hmm. So casual and nonchalant. So, I followed both of you guys. All right, I'm gonna follow well, you back you. right now. Appreciate you. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, let's go ahead and get in this thing. And- Hold on, this ain't you. Oh, there you go. You <laughs> say like I followed the wrong person. Hold on. I won't follow him. Blazing. Ask me. Oh, shit, you are fine. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me know what you're doing after this Zoom call. That's just true. <laughs> I'm, I'm streaming. <laughs> okay. Well, go. When you done, when you done stream, When you done streaming, you and your streams can get with me and my streams. <laughs> we can all be streams. <laughs> Me, you know what I mean? I need that in some kind of song or show. <laughs> that <laughs> needs to be updated <laughs> to that. You and your stream could get with my stream. <laughs> we could co stream. Like, <laughs> like, girl, I'm trying to take this to the next level, girl. I'm trying to host your show. I'm trying to host your channel. Are we, are we, yo, man, I bought Marvel versus Capcom on Dreamcast today. Which one? The first one, not first the second one. one. <sighs> I don't know which one's which one's better. Two. Two is the dopest one. Two. Two, two is the best better. One. C- cables in that one, right? Yes. Mm, I, think. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because he wasn't in well, three. No, no, he yeah. wasn't. No, I think I used, he to, play, I used to. Wait. But I, I used to play. You used to what? I used to play Marvel. I used to play that shit on Dreamcast all the time, man. That was my that was my game, man. Damn. One is good. If you can get two, though, get two as well, cause it's dope. Yeah, they didn't. They they. This is store in Hawthorne called Cali Games. They don't. They don't. I, I, they they got all the old video games and everything like that. Dang, I need to get me a sixty-four. You could go in there right now and yeah. get you a sixty-four for like seventy dollars. I know, I'm definitely just. I like, believe it. My that, you, you was, the only thing is the only game they they be charging like all right. So like you know like, so the games they they charge a lot for. Is like Mario Kart 64. Uh-huh. They want like 44.99. Like that shit just came out. Like <laughs> it just dropped. <laughs> yeah, they want Mario. Yeah, but I mean, but other like I got I got the 64. I got GoldenEye. I got WWF. Uh, not wrestling. Bro. I got No Mercy. I got No Mercy. Oh, I just need No Mercy. WCW versus NWO. I got revenge. I got revenge. I, have, I need revenge. I need Killer Instinct gold, but the one in the gold uh, cartridge, because that's the See, one. I that ain't got that. all the characters. I need that one. I got I got Mario sixty four. I got Mario Kart sixty four. I got Donkey Kong sixty four. I got Wave Race. I think that's it. That's another one I need. It's called Rush. Like like Rush twenty twenty two. Oh yeah, the futuristic car game. Yeah, I need that. That was my shit. Cause I had this one where this dude was just a wheel and he can run and he can get like infinite speed. That shit was so dope. But all right, y'all. Uh, welcome to Pharaoh's Vault, uh, the show where y'all are going through my vault of many movies. As y'all know, I am a huge movie buff, so uh, I bring on some of my uh, my peoples on here. I take them through my vault. Uh, as they know, if it's a movie that they recognize and have seen. We will reminisce about it, the good, the bad, the ugly of the movie. Or, and if they haven't, I am going to pitch this movie to them. Like this, this is the movie that needs to get developed. Y'all need to watch this. And based off of my pitch, they will decide whether or not they will watch this show or or this movie or show, or if they choose not to. Now, the thing is, I'm going to do a horrible job at it. (laughs) So with that said, I have three very special guests I have writer, producer, and director, Andrew Shannon in the building. I have comedian extraordinaire, actor extraordinaire, writer, producer, uh, music as well. Uh, 
Uh, what what would you call him if you like when you were real like music head? I don't like music head though. That's just I like, don't know. I guess a music head it is because it's like you're not. It's kind of like you're not. A, I'm like because food people got they're a foodie. Booties, yeah. Sneakerheads is like sneaker. Yeah, I'm a music head. Yeah, I guess I'm a music head. Uh, I guess. Music, music head or music enthu- enthusiast. Mm-hmm. That's Clint, I'm Clint. Clint. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a uh, cosplay model, Twitch streamer extraordinaire, and all around dope extraordinaire personality wise with the pointy little. Uh, cat ears. LED cat ears. ears. Miss Sly Cooper in the building. So welcome everybody. <laughs> to the show um are y'all ready to get in this thing with the first movie let's go yeah i'm ready the first movie i feel like everybody's seen this i don't think there's gonna be someone that's gonna be like i didn't see this movie but i consider it to be not a classic at all but i think it deserves more respect than it gets and that is street fighter ladies and gentlemen all right yes has everyone here seen Street Fighter? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are we all in agree is that this is a very excellent, great movie that should have been made and put on DVD? Of course. It should have yes. went straight to DVD. Come what? on, man. Don't do that. <laughs> this, movie, oh. this movie was had everything we needed. Tell me what we needed and then what it had. It had action. We got that. Can't say we didn't get that. Explosions. We had over the top characters. We had story. We had the story. We had the Shadowloo. I don't even know what Shadowloo at, but I don't want to go there. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on. They don't talk about Shadowloo like that. We had we got we had a uh a, 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 a what a national international pop star, Kylie Minogue as Cammy. Cammy's one of the oh, finest. Sad. Characters in video game history. Mm-hmm. John Claude Van Damme played a thorough bl- uh, bred American male. And he ain't even from America. <laughs> and he, he definitely played, played Guile like, like he was that. Like that was him. And I believed it. I was like, yo, when he, <laughs> he uppercut in Bison and you saw that better mare, I was like, you know what, God damn it, Merck. That's when I I was like, that's why white people be like this. I see it. All right, can we can we be honest? Mortal, both Mortal Kombat's are way better than this. That was not the debate, sir. Okay. You, All right, my yes, bad. You're right. You're right. right. Um, um, and they weren't that good. Second one. No, uh, no, fuck that. No. That second one's trash. He said no. Matter of fact, we are discussing it. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. Mortal Kombat is one. Annihilation was good to me. Street Fighter, then two. Two was trash because they changed everybody and then gonna act like we didn't We see ain't notice. And then Jeez. they killed Johnny Cage at the beginning. Like we just like, no, first, <laughs> who asked for that? <laughs> Are you giving Street Fighter more fire because of the cast? Because- Listen, the cast, the story plot, the fights. Listen, man, Gomez from the Adams family, <laughs> Bison. Yes, was, he was. Yeah. Like y'all can't tell me like when like that was the first time we saw an Easter egg really in movies like the credits rolled then it went off and you saw him his fist pop up like I got we know two is coming. Mm-hmm. That's what was foreshadowing before yeah. Marvel started for- foreshadowing. Did two ever come <laughs> is the question. Nah, well because he died, so they was like out of respect for him, they ain't really want to. We're do just it not anymore. gonna, yeah. Yeah. Well, either that or they were like, they were like, you know what? Let you know, let's just let's not let's just say we did. <laughs> I I would disagree. I would I would disagree because I remember um, my my uncle taking me to the movies to see this BS. You went to the movies to see this. Bro, I remember my uncle took me to the movies to see this. This is hey, awful. Hey, Will's reaction. Will's he sounded reaction. like a little kid in admiration. That's why. Like, that's why. See, like Lou, you. I mean, like Lou, Will, you probably saw it on like after it came out on DVD. Maybe with, or no, not even DVD because no, DVD VHS. won out then. Yeah, it, it was came like out early nineties. Or you watched it. Or you watched it on on pay per view because your parents had the chip. My parents had the chip. No, oh, so I, you had the chip. I, wa- I watched it on TBS. That, that's why. I saw okay. It. So. You watched it on TV, yeah. So my my uncle took me to the movies to see this BS. I'm sorry, I, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have went to the movies to see. This. <laughs> Man, you, see, okay. you just proved your point. You just I mean, no, I, 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 I don't went saw it in the morning. 
like at 10 and <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's not because of the movie it was because hot dogs were a dollar at that time uh. and so you get that and then you get the popcorn for 350 and a drink it's like that's lunch low key matinee baby oh, Matt, and you just and, and you just happen to see a movie with it yeah, and it would have been this, but to be like, yo, 7 p.m. prime time. I feel sorry mm. for Clint's uncle. Yeah, 12 p.m. Because nothing is worse than you spend money on a kid, and then the kid's like, yo, that was trash. I didn't even ask for that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't want that. But I didn't say that. I didn't say that, though. He was what like, you said? No, I just said thank you. <laughs> I said thank you. Like, my mom raised me better than that. He said thank you. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Like, How did you like the mom. movie? Thank you. That was enough. Like, that idiot. let your uncle know. He was, was like, "Thank hey. you, man." He was not feeling this whatsoever. <laughs> but um, I'm glad that is one of the movies that y'all that y'all did um, actually know. Which I'm yeah. So um, I'm going to get into the next one. We're gonna keep it up. Uh, hey, who who was Ken? Just a question before you move on. Who was Ken? Was that the Blue Power Ranger? It looks like. That did look like Billy from <laughs> it like Billy. It wasn't though. Actually, I, I believe David Yost or something like that. Yeah. He was what? Yost, yeah, it was Yost or something. Yeah. Was, I think his name was like David, David Yost or David something Yost. like that. Yeah, I think that dude actually played Johnny Cage, if I'm not mistaken. In the second No, one. that's not him. That's not him. That's not remember guy. they changed Johnny Cage in the second film. Oh, I don't remember, but he was in there for such a split second. It was literally yeah. like, who killed him? Shao Kahn killed him? Yeah, he snapped his neck. Yeah, okay. All right. Snapped his neck. And again, like I said, Thanos. no one no one actually <laughs> Shao Kahn looked like uh he looked like John Cena. He did. He did. When I seen he John was... Cena the first time, I was like, oh, oh. Shit, that makes sense. <laughs> Shao Kahn. And then I found out that was two different people because I was like, I didn't know John Cena was on charmed. Cause that dude, <laughs> yep. I was like and I was, they was like, that's not the same person. I was like, well then, y'all try to say all right. He has a doppelganger. Really? <laughs> Yo, you mistake me. All right, so uh, the next one that we're gonna get into is Birds of Prey. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm so sorry. Not, no, I don't know why they did that. Not that Birds of Prey, the real Birds of Prey. This Birds of Prey. Have any of you seen this? I know what it is, but no. Lou, I mean, not Lou, Will, pitch me. Okay. Nobody's seen this, right? I gotta hang on, wait. I can't see the thumbnail. You ain't seen this. You didn't get excited. You ain't seen this. I was like, right. I didn't see that one. Let me run this, man. So th here's the line. Batman little girl is all grown up, right? So Batman out of here. Joker out of here. We 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 in Gotham. We diving into the future, right? Man, Batman and Catwoman got a whole daughter out here named Huntress, right? And she just she out here trying to fight crimes and stuff like that. So then all of a sudden, she she link up with uh with Jim Gordon's uh, daughter. She all grown up now. Her name Oracle. Her legs don't work, so she in a wheelchair fighting crime because uh, the Joker, like, shot her in her spine. And, um, well, let's just say, like, what he did could be on the episode of Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Is this a joke okay. or is this real? Uh, no, nah, this is real. Like, this really okay. happened in the comic books. Like, he shot her okay. in the spine and, like, raped her. She was her. paralyzed and, yeah, yeah. And, uh, tortured her and raped her, yeah. Yes, wow. and she's still fighting crime out here, collecting disability checks the whole time. <laughs> collecting Then you got uh, this, new, <laughs> this new chick, like Black Canary. Her name is Black Canary. Black Canary. I don't know why she call herself that, but um, is she black? She ain't black. She oh, white. Black. Will, I'm a pass. You go. You you ain't even let me finish explaining. Well, you ever you ever be in an executive's office and you you know you you've heard enough. <laughs> heard enough. You he sitting here like, no, I've never. Been been like, you know, like, no, <laughs> seriously, no. You ever, no, but seriously, you know, you ever be pitching some shit and you like, we've, okay, me and Will, for those of y'all don't know, me and Will used to share an office, right? And I'll never get one time in particular, somebody came in and was trying to pitch me and I did. And me and Will kind of just looking at each other like, when are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that is the whole basis of this show. Because so many people pitch stuff, and I'm just kind of like... I'm like, how did this get green light? That same face light. that you make when you're ready for people to leave your house, Will. Yeah, like, because, like, Bro. they'll have me watch stuff. Like, somebody was like, yo, you got to check out, like, the human centipede. And I just be sitting there like... <laughs> Someone, yeah, man. Like, you know, people, people used to know we used to work with. I used to work with all deaf and shit, and they used to be like, "Yo, Clint, you think? No, I'm not sending this to them. This is awful. <laughs> Horrible. Like, this is not. This is. This is not. This is not worth Sanderson's attention. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This was not worth sending in. They're like, yo, can you bring? Hey, yo. Nah. This. 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 This, this gonna be great on all deaf. Nah, I don't man. Think so. I don't, well, nigga, I don't. I'm Tyler Perry. I'll green light that. I like, I like, I like what you were saying. We'll put some black people in it, shoot it in Atlanta. It, it's done. <laughs> so we'll put some black people in it, shoot now, it in Atlanta. Now you, it's are you done. Gonna shoot, are you gonna shoot this in a day like Fallen Grace? Cause I, I, I have notes that made like it's. I need a little bit. Bro, more. when I found out they shot Acrimony in forty eight hours, bro. I, I was, he was like, like bro. oh, I get it. I get it. No, I don't. I'm like, I, didn't. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, what? Like, what happened? Like, did you owe somebody money or something? Like, what's going on? Like, nigga, nigga got that deal with Netflix. He churning out content. He don't give a fuck, nigga. Man, <laughs> Tyler Perry, this come your way, man. Listen, I got a whole whole thing for you with Medea. Medea dies hard this Christmas. Hit me up. Whole action. I'm talking about like you, Medea, Bruce Willis, John McClane. Let's go. Did you, did you say Medea turns into Bruce Willis? Like she has a transition? No, no, no. And they come together. Like John McClane moves to like Atlanta, but you uh, know, he gets into some stuff because he sees some uh, government stuff going on that's about to cause some terrorism, but it's in Medea's neighborhood. So now him and Medea got to connect. And it's Medea dies hard this Christmas. Chris Brown going to be in there for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Um, I'm not Tyler Perry. If you ever watch this, I'm not the one making fun of your content, man. I'm a big <laughs> fan. And if you, <laughs> you need somebody. You see, you, you know. said you said like I couldn't turn this into a hit though. Remember? Yeah. The human <laughs> centipede got greenlit. Yeah. Three of them. The mm -hmm. Three. Three. But the the reason why I'm green lighting this is uh, it has diversity on all levels. We we have. The, the little paraplegic girl. We have uh, we have the interracial bat cat. Uh, bat cat? <laughs> Yo. First, Come on, uh, man. Inter interracial species yeah. coming together, man. Like, how can you not green like this? And I didn't even let me get to the girl, the black canary girl that ain't black. When yeah. she screams, she get like this high pitch frequency that just mess everything up. This is a crime fighting trio of women taking on Gotham and just, I just got to throw it out there. Harley Quinn is they, is they, uh, she, she older, but she they main villain. Oh, wow. That's actually not bad. That's actually, okay. All right. Now you might have my attention now. Okay. <laughs> See, I told you, you gotta let me finish explaining it. Guess my what? Bad. Look, we even got it. Like, like you said, let's, let's throw a black guy in there. Shamar uh -huh. Moore. Everyone likes Shamar Moore. Shamar Moore is a detective. No, who's uh -oh. the who's the no 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 who's the two thousand who's the twenty twenty Shamar Moore? It's got to be, and it's not Michael B. Jordan. So it ain't who, Michael who, B. Jordan. It's the television. We got to think television. Yeah, who's who's the twenty twenty Shamar Moore? Um, give me uh somebody that's good looking. Take him serious. It's not that old. Oh, uh, hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Give me Childish Gambino. Give me Donald After seeing the Batman trailer, but I was But now like, now if but if you're telling me give me Donald Glover, that means that means this movie, you now you now you're about to make it this a fire cast. Yeah. This is a fire cast, man. Mm -hmm. This is a fire so, cast. So so who would be the uh wheelchair girl? Listen, man, I I, I would just Then give I me would, give me give me give me give me Lapita. Lapita in the wheelchair. So we so we taking the white women out, is what you're saying. We're doing like real oh, Hollywood. Melanating the whole thing. Okay. All of it. We, we all of it. Dip it all in chocolate. All right. So we doing like how they do us. I got you. So all right. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm loving where y'all coming. So y'all want to get rid of this white woman. You want to put Lapita here? Yeah, I yeah. watch that. Okay. Especially um, with Childish Gambino. Okay. All right. 
but uh so black canary i um i you know we we this is who we originally were going for as black canary are we keeping her or are we are we, we we melanating that up too we melanating that up thing. that's the that's the, the main thing. character right black canary no no no, no. the main no, character it's is this one. that's that cat. that's batman and catwoman uh uh daughter the daughter okay so yeah. give me so we we going to melanate her too melanating everybody all right so everybody we getting melanated. her out here too we not the, the she so. make uh, she making the stallion Meg the Stallion as yeah. No, 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 no. Meg, Meg hasn't proven that she can act yet. Let's let's hold on real quick. We'll give Meg a, a cameo, uh, oh. but we but not not a leading role. We gotta we gotta work up to. If we so want a leading role, her a shot, Clint. No, 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 no. And I think those are the wrong words to use about giving her a shot. Uh, <laughs> that's fucked up. That's fucked up. They gonna hate me for that. They gonna hate me for that one. They gonna hate me for that. And look at look at Sly's face like uh it's like oh she's like me I'm like mm. <sighs> yeah ah. anyway no but no I'm not going to give no. water sips the tea okay. <laughs> you know this thing come with special features thank you for 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 for, for moving past that man yeah <laughs> but all right so but who who could you see right now as a star of this show if y'all casting it and melanating it up who would be the huntress don't tell I'm gonna tell you the huntress, and she's the star of the show. Yes. Mm-hmm. This generation's huntress. Yo, I wouldn't be mad at. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I wouldn't be mad at Tika Sumter. That's who I was thinking. That's who I was thinking. I, I wouldn't be it. mad okay. at. I wouldn't be mad at Tika Sumter. I'm I'm loving me some Tika Sumter in the nice in the nice outfit just like this. Ain't got to be slim, tight, and whatnot. She mm-hmm. can still be in this fine yep. with her hair. Oh. And then the best friend, or who's the other girl? Uh, Black Canary. Issa Rae. Issa Rae, I can see it. Okay. Ooh. And I love the shades you going with, Clint. Yeah. Issa Rae or Kiki Palmer. Oh, cause see, Kiki Palmer a little bit Ooh. younger, so Hold I feel. Up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Kiki's Might younger, and I, think, now. and I think Kiki actually likes video games, so I can see her with her character arc. She can body cool. that. Mm-hmm. You know what? I take Kiki Palmer. Actually, now too though, I would low key get switch Lapita with Issa Rae for the wheelchair girl. Mm, oh. Oracle. Yeah, because she's already, because she's, because you, you believe Issa Rae as a tech person and behind the scenes, but mm-hmm. his, his, I believe his, that. Uh, yeah, I want I, I think I could be down with that. Luke, Will, we're turning this into a good movie. We are. We're turning it, we're turning this into to, to a very good show. So um, I'm glad that we decided to go that route. Then this movie be a tape. So, so this version, though, you know, we have made Tyler out- Perry's version. Say okay. it, Tyler Perry's <laughs> version. Tyler, Tyler Perry Perry's version. Productions. Are we are we green lighting bird, the birds of prey? Yes. With the cast that we said, yes. All right, I will get back to my people to, <laughs> to, to let them know the script changes and whatnot. But uh, right. I think this is going to be a go ahead solid choice. So uh, we're going to go ahead and move into the next film. I think I think everybody may have may may know this one. This one shouldn't be that difficult. It's very nostalgic for us. So, does anybody remember the Chipmunk, Chipmunk Adventures? Adventure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Chipettes? Yes. <laughs> Come on, man. The Chipettes? Um, I'm not even mad at this movie. The movie did what it was supposed to do. It stayed in its lane. It wasn't try. It wasn't meant to be, you know. It wasn't meant to be a big blockbuster hit. It's just something. It, it, it was. It did what it was supposed to do. Yes, I'm okay. With we this. were content with it. It didn't do I'm anything okay extra. It. it wasn't too it, over the top, but it didn't it under did. deliver. It did what right. it was supposed to do. It, it, it went home. This Fuck is- that movie. Oh, damn. Sorry. Fuck that movie. That movie oh, almost got motherfucking was. CPS called on me. Oh my god. Because my kids was watching it. <laughs> and the baby uh didn't want it and told it to turn it off. And then the, the then my, my three year old my, my seven year old wants to watch it. 
I got into the biggest fight with my wife <laughs> over that goddamn movie. It can burn in hell. You you ain't messing, bro. Like the ch- the chick. I'm not even mad at him, bro. He just said that that movie caused a anger, a rift between him and his wife. Nigga, that that movie almost cost me my marriage. Alvin and the Chipmunks out here cost with the, well, with the should, hot think, air balloon ride. Yes, I yes, think yes. you should. I think you should move on to the next movie. Dang. So we need too many bad memories. Dang, right? Apparently, got a got a whole backstory. We can't hey. gotta. I had, great mo- I had great moments about these. I did too. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Right now, <laughs> oh, white lady, you better move on. I ain't trying to. You ain't trying to win no prize. Keep pushing. Hey, man, support your friends. Support your friends, Will. Thank you, Clint. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Uh, th- this movie is a is a a a, 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 sil- a, a This was this was when we were trying to get superheroes right. Mm-hmm. The Phantom. Starring mm. Billy Zay. Yep. Did, did y'all see the fan? Who saw the Phantom with, with a raise of hands? Nobody saw the Phantom. I know I of it, but I, I didn't. Did. Did. I, I said I, she saw I, it. I seen it. Okay, cause she a real one. So y'all two ain't seen it, right? Right. All right. So, all right. So let me let me let me put y'all on game, right? So let me take y'all back to like 1940s, right? Stuff still ain't, ain't, ain't discovered. People dis- discovering stuff, adventurers, you know. We got like the mummy excavations, you know, all of that stuff. And black people still oppressed. Black people are still oppressed um, out here in these streets, um, as always. And uh, amongst this, 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 this group of people that go to this island called Skull Island, and they've been told you can't go there because there's this, this mysterious phantom that just be messing up all these people, like intruders are not welcome. And mm. so this white woman goes there to try to find out about this. And then somehow this dude, the Phantom, is the person that's behind all of this. He dresses in purple. Um, it ain't this purple, it's the purple you see on the screen. So like that light purple, that's the whole suit. Now don't judge the suit, cause the dude got hands. Um, Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Huh? Why should we not judge this shitty ass suit? Well, listen, because right now, like, do the budget and do like when it was made. It was made in '96. Um, we we didn't have all of like you know the CGI things of what they had at the time of the day, but we did what we could. This man had a skull throne. Um, this dude could fight, but people thought he was immortal, but he wasn't really immortal. This ring gave him the powers of his aunt like the ancestors and stuff and so like he would eventually have to pass this ring on when it was time for him too but then but it keeps you alive a little bit longer than the average person so uh Sha- uh shang song is in it he's uh he's he's I, I forgot what shang song is doing in this movie um the, act, the guy who plays shang song and yeah, the, the guy from shang song is why in. why is why is this a thing like is this a recurring thing that 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 mortal kombat characters are in bad <laughs> movies i i mean when when you do those you kind of know what you're going out for like you you know not to go ask like new line cinema for like the top stuff denzel is in when you see them on that list you'll be like i know they're not casting me let me let me go to something what can get me exposure yeah when i'm right. seeing billy zane as the star it's like okay i have to i could shine in this a little bit <laughs> okay okay this would be a good check I, I think that's how a couple of these guys look at it there's some cast to just stay in their lane and they and they know how to do that. Like the like, what's the, what's the Hispanic dude we see in all the movies, all the time? Every time you see a Mexican dude, it's a bald headed brother. Uh, I know who you talk about. I know exactly who you're talking about. Every, I don't know his name. I don't know his name. I call him Hector. It may not even be Hector, <laughs> but he be in everything. Every time you now see now if the uh, now do you think they say that about black black actors? No like, no, no, a, no no no. You think the they say that about you think they say that about Chadwick Boseman? No, because everybody know he, everybody know who I'm talking about, and everybody know I'm truly giving that man respect. Because when you see him, by calling him Hector. No, I think his name really is Hector. Who's the Mexican man? Let me he, he plays a Mexican gangster in every movie. Yeah, everything. What is his he name? was? In, he was in uh, what movie was that? One of the movies he was in was uh, I want to say he was in Crash. Let me see. He was in Train. Oh, uh, uh, Ant Man. Ant Man, Mexican. 
That guy, yeah. yay, same dude. Yeah. Not, not him, not him. No, not oh, him. okay. That's not that him. Two of That's them not them. who I'm talking about. But as soon, wait, up, as, as, soon as I pull it up, y'all gonna be like, I know exactly who you talking about. One second. But thoughts on this movie so far though. So hold on, this is the nigga who did Tybo? But nah, nah, this is Billy Zane, <laughs> not Billy Blanks. Uh, you know, Could I'm, you imagine? I'm, I'm losing, I know, right? <laughs> Could you imagine, I, like, in between set takes? Just, and, all right, guys. Just in the, just in <laughs> Go ahead and start, start our warm-up, you know, before we shoot this scene. <laughs> no, before we start this fight scene, we just have to remember to breathe. Go ahead and, and breathe. Yeah, let's talk about Tybo for two seconds. So we do our own stunts here. Remember Let's the first time that. you seen a Tybo video and you were like, what is this? Oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm combining Taekwondo and boxing. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and people was buying that video like it was nothing. I did that, that video shit. sold. That video like went platinum. That, that, that VHS went platinum. For why? Yeah. <laughs> I, I did that. Uh, I did uh, Tybo in fourth grade PE. They had us uh, put us all in the auditorium. We was doing tie bow. Oh, that's stupid. Now, once once I start sweating, I'd be like, "Yo, fuck this, I'm done." <laughs> I was I was I was tall and already kind of heavy. I was like, "Yo, man, ain't no showers here." Right. Ain't no showers here. Right. I'm good. You know, nope. His name is not Hector. His name is Noel. What? Where's the Where's the guy? Oh, I'm, fin I'm finna pull it up right now. But when as soon as you see him, you'll be like, "Yep, that's him." And you gonna see why I said Hector. <laughs> Bro, if you say if if he if I see this picture, I'm gonna fall out. Cause you, <laughs> cause you know who I'm talking about. Yep. That's him. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. That's Hector. He was in fucking uh, what would you call it, Bruce Almighty? Yeah, man. The one that's with Hector. the monkey up his ass. <laughs> I know his real name is Noel, bro, but like this dude is in. Oh, now his name it's is like, Noel. It's like when you see <laughs> him, you like. He don't look. This is a legit movie. When you see him in the movie, this is a legit movie. Someone legitly made this. When he in the movie. This dude was in Batman. Mm -hmm. He was. He Playing was. the same role. He was. This dude is phenomenal. This is the, per this is the perfect example of Staying in your lane, playing where you going. He made he it, you know, he he made he made millions off of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but think about it, like, there's not a lot of people, like, especially y'all know in the, in this industry, like they're not gonna cast him as the main role, just like a lot of us. Like it let, if it don't fit the dynamic of what they trying to push and stuff like that. So it's like, yo, if I can still take the work though and like properly be able to represent us, it's like, yo, I'm gonna do it. Cause there ain't never right. been a role where he's like I don't believe his character. That's true. Right. That's true. So, man, shout out to Noel. Uh, I don't want to say his last name because I don't want to mess it up and disrespect him. Uh, but I already calling him Hector. But that's what that's right. what every time every time I always bring the guy up. That's what my mama say. Like, oh yeah, the boy from Fast and Furious. Like, yep. Yeah, he was in Training Day. Yep. He was in a lot of stuff. He was in King of the Streets too. When he got caught in that barbed wire. But uh, let's see. We're gonna move on to the next film. So, uh, but no, no, no. We still on. I'm sorry. We still on the Phantom. Uh, so are y'all rocking with the Phantom? Yes or no? No. No. It sounds like no. something DC would make. Why? Why? Well, 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 well <laughs> uh, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, dog. He's not lying. He's not lying. And you, and the worst part about it is the look of your face is like you know what, damn. Yeah, like that was that was. <laughs> you like, <laughs> you like damn. <laughs> that, and that's what? what you just go back and tell them. They was like, well, what they say? It looked like something DC would make. Ooh. Uh, where's the lie? <laughs> where's the lie? <laughs> you see it on fire like it is now. It ain't like now. It, it ain't like that. It wasn't like that a few years ago. It's fire now. DC didn't clean their act up. They came back and socked people in the mouth this past It's a redemption arc. Yeah. They was like, watch this. Okay, so I think I got another one that y'all ain't seen. We got just, just two more, and then we'll go ahead and wrap. Uh, so 
I don't know if too many people know about this movie. But let me know if y'all know about that. Movie. That doesn't even look like some shit I would watch. You ain't you ain't down with legend, bro. I have not seen the, it. Uh, Young Tom Cruise. Yeah, bro, like white, white, white people and the word legend. I don't I don't I don't associate with. So this already lost my this already lost my interest. You not messing with old young Tom Cruise pre Top Gun. You got no. chick from Ferris Bueller's Day Off as the princess. No. And then you got you, you got Tim Curry as the devil. You okay, let me, uh, They should have used Mark Curry as the devil. <laughs> they should have had Mr. Cooper. Well, deceased. <laughs> they should have had Mr. Cooper. I just went back to uh, Mr. Cooper in that Jamie Foxx episode where he almost fell. <laughs> That's the funny. That's the, yo. That's one of the only episodes I remember where Jamie could not keep it together and is to try hard not to laugh at this duel. If y'all ever look at it, look up Jamie killed it. He, episode, Mr. Cooper. Because as soon as he slides, this is Jamie. He say, "Boy, he slides." <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> he couldn't help. Like he could not help me. I remember that, dog. I remember that episode like it was yesterday. He had to go to drive. He had to go to driving school. Yo, <laughs> him and Braxton. <laughs> okay, but back to look. Listen, did, before y'all before y'all sleep. Uh, hold on, let me ask a question. Yes, is this a uh, pre Scientology Tom Cruise or? Is oh, this way Gun? before this before Top Gun. This was like. I'm passing. It, I'm passing. Well. <laughs> I'm, I'm you, you I'm, like at pre after Scientology, yeah, right? yeah, because that's when you know he's committed, you know what I mean? Because he already signed up for a billion years, so this nigga's committed to the cause, <laughs> Damn. No. but legend, nah. Uh, I mean, I, I see, I see Clint, Clint ain't, ain't messing with it, so that they, he ain't gonna be messing with the last one, so I like, like, Clint, I'm like. My bad, bro. I'm, and I'm, and I'm tuned in. Man, so I don't even really want to keep you up on this next one. Like, what's the next one? I don't even really want to tell you because you're just gonna I be think, like, oh. No, I think you. No, no, no. I wait a minute. Wait a minute. First of all, y'all changed my mind on the black. The, what was it? What was it called? The birds, the, birds uh, of prey. You changed my mind on birds of prey. I said no on that. The Phantom is a hard ass no <laughs> because it's looked like something DC would make. All five, all four of us said, you know what? There's no rebuttal. And then now you're giving me pre Scientology, Tom Cruise. Y'all uh, telling yeah. me, y'all telling me, y'all rocking with after Scientology, Tom Cruise. Yes, he's committed. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with. I've just never really heard anyone say this. And like, yo, like b before he went in, we're not rocking with that. After though, give me right. all the Mission Impossibles. I'm there. I, I ain't gonna lie to one Mission Impossible where they was, I think they was at the Kremlin or some shit like that. That, that was, was dope. That was hard. That was Ghost that, Protocol. Yeah, when they was at the Kremlin, that drone was hard, dog. I didn't think he was gonna make it out of that one. That was with him and Paula Patton, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah him, yep. uh, Jeremy Renner, who yep. was the born identity after that. I was like, yo, all right. He even fought right. Superman. Well, I'm good on this movie. And I think the rest of us are too. Yeah. I would Slide. watch it because it's a fantasy genre based off the cover art. It's so, it's so, it's a unicorn in here. Um, rivers. They got a dude that's rivers. A, a dude with a nose that's real <laughs> long. Like Clint, Clint already established that it is, has white people and it says legend. It's a fantasy novel. I mean, it is, man. But look, like, y'all watched Titanic and didn't say it, shit. You Titanic watched, was amazing. I never saw Titanic. You, Titanic was amazing. You listen, I don't I don't want to give it away, but a lot of them don't make it out. Neither does the Titanic. <laughs> a lot of them don't make it out. Yeah, not, no, even, they don't. not even the ship. Right. <laughs> don't want to spoil Only survivor the is the ice. Actually, the, the ship is the main one that doesn't make it out. <laughs> <laughs> don't want you just want to give it away, but there's an iceberg involved. There's an very iceberg. Tro there's very iceberg. troublesome in this. And there's, the and there's, a, there's, a, there's a chick that fucks a nigga she just met on the cruise. And a and very expensive piece of jewelry. You <laughs> must know that you do that not. That ends up right back in the water. <laughs> that ends up right back in the water. <laughs> that nigga thought all you needed was mouthpiece and dick, and he wound up freezing in the water. Man. Because they both could have been on that boat, on that, dome, on that door. 
And then I think it even inspired an episode of Mythbusters when they tried to see if two people could float on a door. But, you yeah. know. And they did. They did. That's it. So, I, fuck I bros. Mean, I mean, <laughs> he, he, she could have saved, saved his life. Sit, mm-hmm. Could have. Could have, would have. Yeah, so, you tell him, so you're telling me this nigga's basically August Alcino? Is that what you're telling me? You know what, Will, nah, can we please nah, move on? Can, Will, I'm not, Will, Will, can you take control of this like, man? He, nah, because she, <laughs> she didn't have a husband for him to be entangled with. She just fucked him and let him die. Yeah, like, yeah, she for one wasn't, thing. That wasn't her, that wasn't that wasn't her husband. That dude cow, that racist piece of shit. Oh, you said it was her husband. No, I said was if he if he didn't like if he didn't like poor white people, I know what he felt about black people. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> he, <laughs> he had some like... very harsh words for the whites. I was like, I don't yeah. know. it's like, wait a minute, what you oh, gonna say just... about us? <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't. I just don't want to hear. I don't want to be pushing that broom and somebody to go. Well, what do you think about those Negroes? Like, why? Are you <laughs> <that> up? <laughs> Read the room. Hey, I just yeah. heard he said by child, he about to go in on us. Like, yeah, he went exactly. in on just the middle class white people. Right, like. Uh, right, like, <laughs> you, he on the boat. The, the motherfucker had a ticket. Can you imagine what he felt about? Man, yeah, I don't even want to know what he, what he thought about black people. Yeah. So um, he said, and he didn't like Picasso. Remember, they, she showed him a Picasso, and he, he was, was like, like, disgusting. What is what is this <laughs> trash? I said, oh, <laughs> like, all right, bro. All right. He was the first first thing to let me know white people suffer from small dicks. That's when I knew I was like, something ain't right with this dude. And then my auntie was like, that's because he ain't getting no, he, well, how she said something like that, because he got a small dick. I was like, damn, that's real. Then I started seeing all the rest of these people, and then you look at their face, and they be like, yeah, y'all do got a little dick energy. Yep. Yeah, this is real. But I got one more. Uh, like I, I see Clinton and, and Drew, like, I, I know y'all got important things to do. You will follow mm-hmm. Clint. You are just always. No, oh, man. My, nah, stop it, man. Um, I know y'all don't like fantasy, so that's why I'm just like, I, cause I like this. Nah, movie. Do, do, the, do the movie this you is, was gonna this do. This is funny. Do the movie. All right, all right, y'all, listen, before y'all. Oh, be- see, now you got me with this. I like this movie. Okay, 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 I was like, before y'all just go run this in the no, mud. No, is that Sephiroth? Yeah, that's Sephiroth. Yeah, dog. I, I I like Final Fantasy, dog. Yeah, no, no I'm I'm green light. It is, that's not All cloud. The green lights. Is All that the... cloud strife? That's not cloud strife right there, is it? Dude, where'd Will go? <laughs> Will's just happy that I'm a Final <laughs> Fantasy fan. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't even know that. Will didn't even know that. He didn't know I like that's my guilty pleasure. I have you the know? Final Fantasy 15 PS4. Yeah, I got the final fan. I got the Final Fantasy VII remake. The girl I know, she be like, "What are you about to do?" Oh, you about I to gotta play? send you something. Now that we see, that see, she be saying I be playing anime. That's what she calls it. He be like, "You be like, playing anime." Bam, you better put some respect. It's one of the greatest <laughs> video games I've ever played in my life. I'm, if I'm, any movie is associated with it, I'm I'm with Will it. Will still passed out. <laughs> Listen, man, this 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 is the tales after. Final Fantasy Seven. They they bring Seth Roth back. Ooh, like this, like low key. Like if you got the remake, this is what inspired the remake. Because okay, because I'm about to say the remake doesn't. A lot of stuff that happened in the in the original Final Fantasy doesn't happen in the remake. Well, no. So the thing is, they the first Final Fantasy remake is only I think disc one of the mm-hmm. four. They're about to come out with yeah. the second part again. Yeah, they didn't break the whole story down. Mm-hmm. It's just the first part. So yeah. they wow. keep coming out with it until they get to the end. It's but the this takes place after that. And it's just like the same stuff you see in the remake, like how they modeled everybody, they got mm-hmm. it from here. They got it from I'm here. with the I'm with the shits, bro. So you bro, when I tell you, I'm this with is the just shits worth having in your collection. Yeah, I want let me borrow it. I got you. You know how they be like, hey man, let me borrow. It. Nah, my brother, you got to get your own. <laughs> nah, because I'll come back to this. Where you at? Where you at? Long Beach, I'll be there. I, got I like that. I, that's that's my that's my movie. And I mean, I, well, I mean, I I've never seen that movie, but I'm green lighting that. Yes. Uh, uh, Drew, you look like you don't know what this is. Can I put? I you? don't. Yeah, put me on game. Let me put you on game, right? So we in the we 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 in the future, right? We in Midgar. Like Midgar. Midgar, Midgar, my, my Midgar. Mother. Well, no, 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 no. I was just you say Midgar, I say Midgar. I think it is Midgar. Same shit. I, you know, I'm from the south though, so I but I think it is Midgar. <laughs> Is how it's pronounced correctly. Matt, do you hold on? Let me just, I, let me let me push my luck just a little bit more. Clint, do you know this story? Yes. Would you no. be able to 
to explain it to Drew? Well, okay. So it's hard to explain final because so much shit goes it's on. It's a lot. You just get <laughs> honest. You know, uh, if you had to, it's nigga, just, I've, it's, never, it's, I've it's, never even it's played. Literally I don't just, even know. It looks like. All right. Here's what I'm going to say. Final Fantasy VII is based, or Final Fantasy, well, not even seven, just Final Fantasy, or in this in this situation, I would say it's literally just based based upon a a a, a, a group of radicals, right, trying to shut down or oppose the or overthrow, I guess, the government, which is Shinra. Yeah, that's that's the basis of the story. Right, but what's in my opinion? Yeah, but what's happening behind the scenes is Shinra really is up to some stuff. And so, uh, yeah, some very no, they really are. They up there, they on some, they up to some bullshit. And Sephiroth is one of those BS's that they were up to, uh, kind of like basically created. Uh, Cloud Strife also, too, was experimented on using the same kind of tech that they used to make Sephiroth, and so he joins the resistance. And so, they're trying to really fulfill this mission to basically take down Shinra. Mm -hmm. I'm passing, I'm passing. What? Nigga this, nigga, this sound like coronavirus and Trump. Nigga, uh, this is too It kind of is. Nigga, I for mean, real. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, but the thing is, though, this was 90s. The, the, move, the game came out in 97. Mm -hmm. And they were telling us what was about to happen. Nigga, and, and Tupac saw Bush uh, become president again. So, nigga, they was known the future in the 90s. <laughs> I wrote the song in 94. <laughs> right. How am I doing this? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, nah, man. I'm I'm a pass. All right, but we got well, two. Is it in is it in Japan or what? What is it? Nah, That's it's in English. English. Yeah, it's in English. I think it I mean I don't know where the, the, like where they base where the, the crack setting is. Well Midgar is just a place, so think like yeah. like Lord Japan? of the Rings. It's a huh? fictional like no, Japan? it's a fictional city. It's, it's a, a fiction, fiction yeah, city. it's a fictional place. Yeah. Is it back in the Middle Ages? Because they got swords. No, it's no, it's it's, 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 nah, it's futuristic. Opposite. Futuristic. Yeah. It's like so why I they would got say swords. It's, I don't know. Swords are timeless. Like why? Like they got right. guns too. He says like swords are timeless. You got stuff from like medieval <laughs> swords all the way up to like god eater swords. There's <laughs> a black. There's a black guy with a whole mini gun for an arm. For an arm. Yeah, they that sounds realistic. Really holds and shoots. But but nigga, swords. I ain't. Is it? No. See, you say that till you see the sword play, and you see yeah. the technology they got, like the like the mo like the motorcycles they got in here are ridiculous. Believe me, it's a, it's a mixture of both things. Like you wouldn't be disappointed mm -hmm. if you watched this. You don't even have it's to. Play a, bro, listen, man, I'm the I'm a non gaming ass mother. Like I mean, they play <laughs> Will and Will and Sly play video games, yeah. and they this is life. <laughs> I'm not in the, I'm not into it at all, but I like this shit. Uh, <laughs> that, should, that should tell you something. And this one of low key the hardest things to get a person that's a non gamer to mm -hmm. get it like, no to follow like, some of it. Yeah, never yeah, will you a, hear somebody it's a decent go, introduction yeah, versus bro, I, playing the yeah. whole series. Right, cool. exactly. I don't if I when it came to video games growing up, it was either action, racing, or Madden or Two K. Yeah. I bro, I'm into this. To hear to hear somebody go like, "Yo, I think you should try Mario Kart and get into video games." No. Final Fantasy Seven. What's you dedicate up? Right. the time. You grind right. for this. <laughs> right, right, right. Why? Right. Why is why is one sword bigger than the other? Well, that one's called the Cloud Buster, and that can break down into multiple swords. But that goes for him. Mm. That's his special sword. Seth mm. Roth got a sword that's like probably like I can't even like put it up in, into the screen. It's crazy. Yeah, it's no, a long it's, ass. Uh, sword. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and he's really good with it too. It's. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a pass, dog. I don't do swords, bro. I ain't a ninja. You don't do yeah. swords. You don't do All swords. Right, you know well, I gotta go. Because yeah, a, a nigga said I don't do swords. I'm the fucking <laughs> weird one, nigga. Like <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. Like everybody like, name a movie. Out of everything that was disclosed, it's like mm, I don't do swords. Sword, I, I already, sword. nigga. I already said it seemed like Corona and Trump. <laughs> then they throwing in swords, and it's in the future. Nigga, they killing black people with fucking shotguns and y'all niggas gonna use No, swords? but black people are killing in this in this show. In right. this, in this game. What? Hold on, wait. Barrett, what? Barrett, a wait, guy just, he got a Barrett has Barrett. a gun for an arm. His whole arm. His whole arm. Yes. yes. He's the green leader. light it. Green light it. Green light it. Green light it. Green light it. No, and he's the and low key, he's the leader of the whole clique. Yeah, he's the leader of the clique. 
Nigga. Avalanche. Yeah, we all yes. just this, screamed this yes at the I take orders from him. The dude that's running up on the dude with the angel wings, he take orders from the black guy. I run this you shit. You should have said Django Unchained in the future with a sword. And I'd be like, oh, nigga, green light it, dog. They, they, go. <laughs> Django Unchained in the future. With drink swords. after this. With swords. With swords. swords. Nigga, go. You said the magic word. Yeah. With swords. <laughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, that has been another episode of Pharaoh's Vault. I would like to thank my guests, Andrew Shannon, Click Coley, Sly Cooper for stopping in, being my panel of movies to pitch to get green lit. We green lit it a few. Some are going directly in the trash with no explanation. Just, hey, we got to read <laughs> Sorry, <Yeah>. Phantom. Uh, <laughs> go see why. Uh, but yeah, so I just want to thank y'all for joining. Make sure that y'all check out uh, everyone's social twitches. Uh, also, Cash Apps will be right after the video. Please support the three of these people. They are very talented. They're consistently creating content. Keep supporting them, especially during this time. Like, subscribe, stay up to date with them. I've been the Anomaly Will Farrow, and we will catch you next time. I've been doing hella fucking drugs.